back home from all the travel. Simon, welcome back. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, it got I'm weird here. South, South Bend's a, South Bend's a weird place. Been been Isn't South Bend always weird? What Manish Tana? Says Jesse Vogel. Says Jesse Vogel. <laughs> That's telling you something. Love it. <laughs> um, I hear you. A couple of guys That's got good. delayed because their kids weren't wearing masks on Spirit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we know about that, all right? Crazy, all these stories. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're up to the Mishnah and the Dalla on the base. Shviakal, I would tell you to make a machah, but I don't know if you'd be masking to that. Machah to what? Against, against spirit. Why you make a machah but, against Orlando? Why you make a machah against Orlando? All, all you guys went to Orlando, half the place got messed over. No, that's okay. No, fake news, Simon. Fake news. Yeah, okay. Simon, it happened to one person, I think. No, no, no I'm not talking about Spirit Airlines. Some, some nudnik sitting there. Oh, you're, I'll call my lawyer. We're all lawyers. Thank you very much. Yeah. The best deal, Tiag, of all the people say, I'm never flying it again. And when it's $12 a ticket, they're the first one online. <laughs> parents, your mother's proud of you, parents. Yeah, yeah. I think we're all proud of him for that that line. You guys are yeah. still there, aren't you? Still there? I'm still here till tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, you 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 doing the rush? The what? You're beating the rush or, or leaving exactly. Out the rush. Right. We we only we only came down Tuesday of Halloween, so we stayed in one week, Tuesday to Tuesday. Good for you. Good for you. Good. Enjoy it. Okay. So that's the Mishnah, yeah? You dollar my base. Um, yeah, dollar chesamas. First part of the daf is a little hard, and then the, the after that it gets easier. So dollar chesamas how you make this? Before, literally, the taich of chesamas means seals, not the not the animal, not the sea world thing. For talking yonah the yomer, right? Right, a seal, a signature type thing, but here it means like a uh, like a token. Here it means more like a token, right? That would be the way to say it. So dal chesam is even mikdash because of a lion, egel zachar, gidi vechayte. There were four different types. There was an egel, and a and a a zachar, a gidi, and a chayte. So all these things stood for. For uh, what a chayta means is for somebody who has tzaras. So, and this was, you basically gave it and you gave in the thing. And then you would get whichever amount of nesachim that, you know, the, the flour and oil and wine that had to come along. It was like a package. It was like a package, right? Um, right? To, 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 to put to your, to put to your, uh, to your towards your carbon, Right? Ben Azayim, he had a fifth one. Ben Azayim, hey, hey, how you? There were five. Baramis Kosovalan, and it was written Aramaic on it. Egel Dachar, right? Uh, what do you call it? Uh, a calf, a Dachar, that's a, a, a goat, uh, that's male, right? Gidi is a goat. Chayte, Dal, I'm sorry, Chayte Dal, Chayte Osher. A Chayte who's a Dal, a poor Chayte, and a, and a rich Chayte. Yeah, Egel. That when you would take the eagle, that would you would work, you would use that for the nesachim of bakar of cattle. Gedaylam ukatanim, scharam unukavis. Didn't make a difference if they were big or small, males, females. Gedi mishamashim nischei hatzayin. The gedi you would use it with the nesachim from the tzayin. Gedaylam ukatanim, scharam unukavis. Also, gedaylam ukatanim, scharam unukavis. Chutz mishal elim, except for the rams. Ail mishamashim nischei elim bilvad. And the ram, that only you only use the ram for ram for ram uh And the chaita uses the nisachim of the three behemoths that are uh, of a mitzvah. We'll see in the Gemara with these things. Fine, so how did it work? So Mishum somebody who needed nisachim, he would go to Yachan and Shum Muna Allah he was the one that was in charge of all these these tokens. When I send my mice, 
and he'd give him money, and he would get a card, right? You go, you get a meal card. Right? He came to Achaya, he was the one in charge of the Sacham. He'd give him his token, and then he would take the Nisachim from him, and then Le'erev, and at the night, so Yoichanon got together with Achaya, and they got together. Achaya would take out all the tokens, right, that he got. Makabel connect on Mois, and he would take the money from Rabbi Yochanan. Right? He would take the money from Yochanan, actually, it doesn't say Reb, um, and hopefully would match up. You'd hope that, let's say, Yochanan said, I did, uh, wait, so I sold a hundred, hundred Nesachim, and you would hope that, that Achaya gave out a hundred packages. In Pachsu, Pachsu Loi, but if it was less, if it was messed up, then he's responsible. And Yochanan would have to pay from his house. But if there was extra, then the money goes to Hektish. Right? Like we learned last week, that when you deal with Hektish, you're always going to be on the losing end. The Hektish is always, is always the winner. I imagine this could happen pretty regularly. If someone went, like, I don't know, a half hour before Shkia, and paid for tomorrow that he wants to get his Nesachim tomorrow. And he paid Yoichan and got the token and then gave right. the token to Achia the next day. So Achia is going to go to Yoichan. So today there's going to be extra. Tomorrow there's going to be less. How do you make Yoichan pay for that? There's no safeguard for that. I don't know. I, don't, I mean, we're going to see there are some safeguards in the Gemara, but that's really against people pulling shit. Right. And this is the Saraya to preparing for Pesach like Erev Yomtiv, not changing over a week before. Yeah. But you're supposed to be last minute here. Right. No. Oh. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how it would be. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? So the extra money goes to Hektish. Okay, so extra money goes to Hektish. No, but it comes out of Yechman's pocket. He has to pay. Well, he has to make sure now no, that no one he, comes. If he loses, if he loses, yeah, but that can happen quite easily. What? It can happen easily, one day off. Reuven comes to no. to, to 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 bring his card, no, right? That, so he wants to bring his card on Wednesday. No, he's right? not even. But he comes that. Tuesday night. He comes Tuesday night and gives the money to Yochanan, gets his chaisim, but he doesn't give the chaisim to Achi until Wednesday morning. They had so Tuesday night coders, Gershon. They had electronic. They had to walk through a gate, and if you had a ticket on, you would beep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that would have helped. That would have helped. But uh, yeah, but, but that in lieu of that, him, yeah, he would have had to give out more t- tokens, right? Well, so he gave a token that day. So that day, the money he had is more than the tokens that Achia gave him that night. The following day, he's going to have, Achia is going to have one more token than Yoichanan is going to have money. Right. So who now said they can give a, have to pay out of pocket. But who said they could give I, a token today for, to, to, for the Korban tomorrow? Doesn't say not. Why can't I do that? Because they did a Cheshbon at the end of every day. So that's, it didn't, didn't work that there was left over for their the cashman doesn't stop me getting the next day yeah, how, but how do I know about their cashman because you're because when you take, when you get your token you're saying it's for tomorrow no I'm saying I'm, I I need to bring a card here let me give you the money give me a token and I'll go get it and then I decide I'm not bringing it until tomorrow so I should go get it tonight Maybe well, they had how, tokens how with the day of the week on it. How common is that situation? What? How common is that situation? Probably people like being prepared, so it goes today for tomorrow. It's not. It's not uncommon. Maybe the tokens had days on it. That would be a safeguard that would guard against this. Yeah, but I mean, there's nothing in the Mishnah. That's what I'm asking. I mean, it could be that there is. I don't know. Oh, okay. So I don't know. I don't know how, how common that situation. I don't understand another. I don't understand something else, something more basic. 
Why are they handling the Nesachim? Shouldn't the Kayan take care of that? No? I'm saying, what, what was the... What do you mean? You when the Israel brings a carbon, he doesn't have to bring everything? I, I would I don't know. Sound, here, it, it seems like they're preparing it in the base of Mikdash, right? Yeah, it's the best the way to do it. You have to buy your prepaid package of Nesachim, right? Yeah, it otherwise says, every yid would come with a different carbon, size of Nesachim. No, good. So then, so then why can't the Kayan just take care of it? You bring it That's back. That's what they're doing, ultimately, right? you know? What? The day of the week was written on the seal. Yes, it was. Yes, that's true. That's what Gemara is going to say. So that, they would that, know if the seal was from the day before. Oh, that's very true. good. Okay. Yes, there, yeah, as I said, the Gemara Vaita is going to discuss, is going to discuss how they did it. But that wasn't to do, take care of your situation. That was to make sure nobody it would was ultimately, pulling shtick. Nobody was pulling it shtick. It would ultimately take care of my question also. It will, yes. It will take care of you. Very yeah. good, doctor. Yes. Yes. But I, I just don't understand why the Kohanim just couldn't take care of the Nesachim finished. What do we need this whole thing for? I'm, I think, I mean, it's too basic a question. There's got to be just a lack of, of knowledge of, of how this worked. I'm, I'm not understanding what your question is. I understand. You go, you bring a Kohan to the carbon. Every, every, you bring a carbon to the Kohan, right? You bring a carbon. So then the Kohan, oh, we got to do Nesachim. So you have, like you know, like in the, in the big coffee shops, in the, in the coffee rooms, in Hasidic places, they got a huge thing of this type of coffee, that type of coffee, and sugar. And you take the coin and take some nesachim from each one, adds it to the carbon, and go, we go right. Why does Israel have to get involved in that? Well, on a busy day, that's going to make, make the coin a lot busier. That's very nice. But I'm saying, here we got, you got to get by a token, and then you got to go bring it to the other guy. Then they got to start comparing notes to see it was equal. Okay, I don't know, with Chagigas okay, Yadalad, for example, you imagine the Kaidim, they're bringing the Psachim and the Chagigas, and now no, they have to go measure all the Psachim? They, they can be pre-measured, the same way. So what's the so, difference? So a coin it's easier when the Yisrael brings it to you. No, a Kaidim is going to have to be giving this out to the Yisrael too. Right? He has to go buy it from them. Okay, whatever, I don't know. I don't know. So let's go, it's getting late, so let's go buy it. Anyway, so that's what, uh, that's how it worked. It was a whole meal system. So let's say somebody lost his chasam. So then what do you do? He has to wait till the, till the night. And if they find too, much, too many, which is the equivalent of what he's missing, then they give it to him. And if not, then they don't give it to him. And they write the name of the day because of the people that are going to make uh, lies, but we're going to see in the Gemara, they write a lot more than just that. Fine. Okay, so Zogdi Gemara, Ben Azai, Chayt the Dalama. How can Ben Azai, right? We said Ben Azai has five different types of tokens, right? Um, he has for a rich, rich, a rich Mitzar and a poor Mitzar. Yeah, so, so what's a Pshan? And that's so he says, how you may be Lugahima, there's a whole Girsa issue here with this Gemara. Right, so you maybe luga imay, because the poor one would bring his all his oil with it, right? Meaning, he needed he needs to have that extra oil in as part of his mixture. So if you're a poor person, you got to add on more. The ram kerabanan maybe maybe gedi, but according to rabbanan, he brings he just brings a, a gedi um, paper, and that's going to like give him three lug. And then the, where's he getting the extra look from? He brings it. He takes it. He doesn't get it from the base of He brings it from, from his own house. Fine. Nishe Rachel Bekama. How much? How many Nesachim is brought for a Rachel? Um, so Gemara says, Min Mat the Tninon. We can learn it out from Gidi Meshamash Nishe Tzayin. Gedalim Mekatan with Scharm and Kev. Is that a Gidi? You would use at uh, the Nesachim, right? Whether it's large, small, males, females. Hado Amri. So what is this saying? It teaches us that Nisrei Rachel and Nisrei Gedi that the Nesachim of a, of a Rachel are are the same as the one of a goat. Tichsev kacha yasel l'shora ha'achad oy l'ayel achad oy l'sei b'kvasim oy poizim because it says you see them all equivalent in this pasuk right? It says oy l'ayel achad oy l'sei b'kvasim oy poizim. Fine. L'shor echad lama nemar. Why does it say l'shor? The shor ha'echad for each for each shor magid shaloi cholak. 
that there's no difference between Nisrei Egel, there's no difference between the Nesachim of Egel and Nisrei Shor, and to, to Nesachim of the Shor. So you bedin ben Hatzayin to Nesachim, because really it should have been that that it's a sign that's uh, an, uh what do you call it a son of a sign needs nesachim and a bakar to nesachim and also if the ben bakar the one of the son of cattle needs nesachim so matzano shecholik ben nisrei kavaz and nisrei ayel so since you see that there's a difference between the nesachim of a of a kavaz and the nesachim of a ayel yes yeah, so and now we're on top of aleph lekach nechlik ben nisrei egel and nisrei shor so that's why. They were also going to differentiate between the Nesachim of Egel and Ashar. Tam Loimar, Kacha Yehasel, Ashar Echad. That's why it says, that's what you should do, Ashar Echad. Magid teaches us, Shaloi Chalak, Be Nisrei Egel and Nisrei Shar, that we don't differentiate between the Nesachim of an Egel and the Nesachim of Ashar. Okay, so then Oila Ayel, Lam Menemar. Why does it say Oila Ayel? Right? Meaning we already know what's for an Ayel. Shaloi Bedin, because really it should be Matzano Shechalak, Be Nisrei Ben Shana, Le Nisrei Ben Shnosayim. That there really should be a difference between if it's a year old or two years old, or up until two years old, right? Up until a year old, up until two years old. And that's why there's a difference between up until the second year, up until the third year of the animal time. Or, or it says, or for, or, or, fine. My, my, my connection, I lost it for a minute. Did, did, did you, what's the bedidhu? Why would why would I think that automatically it should be different because it's a year old, two years old? Ben no, but the meaning Egel. if we're differentiating between two and three, so you're going to differentiate between one and two. Who's differentiating between I'm two sorry, and three? I'm sorry, I said the opposite. One and two, and then two and three. The, what, who says? I, that's just that's oh, just what it that's is. It. Oh, that's just I have no idea why it is like that, but that's that's what it is. Then the sachem are different. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oila sebe kvasim lama nemer. So why does it say the sebe kvasim? Shai bedin, right? It should have said in matzano shachalik ben nisrei keves le nisrei ayel that there's a difference between the nesachim of a keves and an ayel lekach nechalik ben nisrei kisba le nisrei rochel. So we're going to do the same. The difference between the female versions of them. I don't know all the differences in the animal names, right? But those are the female versions of of keves and ayel. It's Kispa and Rachel. That's what it says. Why did it say Ayba Izim? Really, you would have thought that you, um, you see that the Torah differentiates between the Nesachim of a Kevis and the Nesachim of a Ayel. Saying so you should also differentiate between a goat and a Tayosh, right, which is a um, a male goat. It says Hikish cotton We're going to make a hekish between a cotton of the izim to a godal of the tiyashim. Ma just like just like this one's with three lugans, so this one's also with three lugan. Fine. Bishem Hayoim Kosov. And we write the name on it. So Gemara says, Hagaba Literally the touch of Hagaba means like work on yourself. But it means like think. Shaz um yoim. Right? Meaning now we're gonna dis- we're talking about now the guy trying to scam the system. Right? So we're saying, think about it. If he's gonna try to match it up with the next day, meaning what's to say that a guy is not gonna get in the and they're gonna meaning okay, one second, let's take a step back. We're worried about a guy fooling. Right, so we say we're going to put the day. We're going to put the day of that. They're going to put that day's nesachim on there, right? Right. So you put the nesachim that day. So then maybe he's going to come. Let's say you write on it Sunday night. Well, no, they didn't do it at night. Sunday day, right? So they say okay. So maybe you use it next Sunday, right? He can use rachas egg. I say yeah. He can use it the same day. So we say no. Shame mishmar ayakasul. They write who who which which one was in the mishmar. With, right, the, the, the uh, how do you call it? The Mishmaris, right? There were 24 Mishmaris. So they would write Monday and they switched off every week, right? So they would write Monday of Mishmar Pliny. And then they wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to use it the next week. So then the Gemara says, to say, hey, say a Mishmar. Okay, so he'll do it with that. So we'll do it with that Mishmar. 
right? Meaning 24 weeks later, when that Mishmar's turn comes, he's going to use it. Shem Hayoyim, Shem Shabbos, Shem Chayde, Shayyukazun. And they also wrote the day and the, the week and the month. What, the what, is the, what is the guy doing? I don't understand. What? Huh? What's he doing? What's he, he gaining? He's saying he's scamming. What's he, what's he scamming? What's he doing? He's giving in. He's giving. He's getting a token. Yeah. He paid for not, it. He, oh, no. Okay. Somebody lost the token and he found it. Now he wants to use it. Right. Oh, okay. Fine. Fine. Yeah. Uh, but he's... Um, is that the only case? Or is there other cases? Um, Pastor says, yeah, it's only, I don't think there's another case of doing it. Is there another way of thinking about of doing it? We got to ask all the brilliant financial minds if there's a way. That's how the River Vaughn says. The River Vaughn says that's the case. Yeah. I'm saying, is there any other way? Because otherwise he paid for it, right? Rabaran's right. He paid for it. So what's the difference when he collects it? Unless he's betting that the prices go up. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I don't know. This You're guy, right. this guy, if that's what he's making his fortune, he got better get a life, this guy. You know? <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Anyway, so shame Ayoim, Shame Shabbat, Shame Khaida Shay Kosovalayan, Afilu writes a Lazaik and Matsu Lazaik. So even if he wants to do it, it's it's not gonna happen. Right? Meaning theoretically it could all line up later on, but it's not gonna happen. Which is very interesting that they did this all because a guy might find a, a lost token on the floor. Right? Again with the chashad. Again a chashad. And we're going to have it again by the, tonight. The chashad that was going on with the base of Mikdash was just wild. It could be right. a little more. There's another case possibly. Now that everyone knows Yad Hector Shalu El Yoyna, a guy can buy a, a, a Nesachim from Hektish when it's very, very expensive outside. When for Hektish, it's cheap. And then he wants, or the other way around, and sell it outside. Right. Why do you, you can't think make the, money when you have Hector Shalal Yoni? You can make money. Why do you think the eight Sahara is any different than them in the base of English? Now, clearly, it's stronger. Maybe that's the eights. Maybe that's what you're right. Maybe Taka, the base of Mikdash. Call right. So, what does it say? Call a Godom and Chavero Yitzra Godom and Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, and that, forget that. It's all the remember, there were millions of people walking around over there. Okay. I hear. So, the there were hundreds, there were millions of people walking around. Okay, uh, okay, I hear that. Um, yeah. Okay, whatever it is, there's a lot of chashad that's going on. So let's see, we'll let's see, we'll, let's, let's see, Vaiter, and it'll also, uh, it'll, it'll, there'll be more of these. Okay, okay so let's talk the next Mishnah. Shtei lishka sa'iva mikdash. There were two, that's now the more Gishmaka part of the daf. Stay Lishkas Hayyubi Mikdash. There were two uh, Lishkas in the base of Mikdash. Uh, Lishkas were rooms. Achas Lishkas Chashayan for the people that were quiet. For Achas Lishkas Hakalim, um, um, once for the Lishka of Kalim. Lishkas Chashayan is Yare Chet, Naisim Lasaycha Be Chashay. People that were Yare Chet, that didn't like to do Chatayan, would put money in there quietly. Vaniyim Bene Toivim, Misparnasim Besaycha Be Chashay. And Aniyim that came from well-to-do families who I guess fell on hard times would come in there and take their money quietly. Meaning it was a way of giving us, we call Matan Besesa. Right, it was a way for people to get their tzedakah without being embarrassed. So that was one room. Lishkas HaKalim. And there was a room for Kalim. Kol Mishu, Misnad of Kli. Anybody who was Misnad of Kli, Zarka L'Sayichi would throw it in there. V'achas L'Shoshim Yoyim. They would throw the Kalim in there to donate them. And every 30 days, I Barin. So they would go in there and they would clear out all the kalim. If it was needed for the Bede Kabayas, for the upkeep of the Pesach they would leave it. And the rest, they would sell. Um, and then the money that they used for these kalim would go to Bede Kabayas. So basically, I want, all these... I want Shiloh. What would they do with all the stuff that didn't sell? Stuff that couldn't sell. Yeah, it's still Kaddish. It was donated. And it is, it is Kaddish. I don't and know. Let's say it didn't sell. It's like when I 
It's like when somebody donates something to bazaar and it doesn't sell. I don't know. I don't know. You put it in the nickel table till it sells, I guess. No, sometimes it doesn't. You throw it I don't know. I don't know what happens. I don't know what the next step would be after that. You know, over here, what would they do with all the stuff that didn't sell? They sold it to somebody. That's all. What do you mean? For five one, cents? One man's, what is it? What is this phrase? Yeah, one what, man's, uh... Somebody donated it to the Migdish, yeah? So whatever the Migdish gets for it is Revach. They didn't get $10. They got 50 cents. They still made 50 cents on it. They sold it to a guy and he sent it to South America. No? I hear, I hear, I hear. Okay. Yeah. Um, is is this Zarkin another part of Chashash in the Mikdash? We didn't want to let people in the room to put it down, so they had to throw it in just in case they find something nice they wanted to take. Oh, you want to write a lotion of Zarkin? I yeah. Love I love that beer. Yeah. I hear. I don't know. I don't know. I hear. Okay, so very good. So the Gemara first discusses the uh, the first part here of, of the Tzedakah. So Yaakov Bar Idi, Rabbi Yitzchak Bar Nachman have a parnasin. They were they were parnasin, meaning they were like in charge. Bab and Yovin the Rav Chama Avui the Rabbi Yeshua dinner, and they would give to Rav Chama the father of Rabbi Yeshua. They would give him a dinner, but who Yov lay the and he would give it to others. Meaning he didn't need the tzedakah. They would give it to him, and he would be like the Gabbai tzedakah, and we give it out uh, hidden to people. Rabbi Zcharia Chasnei the Rav Levi. Here we go, another story like this. So Rabbi, Ch- Rabbi Zechariah, the son-in-law of Rabbi Levi, everybody would be, uh, mal- they would say Laz, they would be mighty Laz. They would yent about him. Amrin, the lights are of Hunasav. They would say that he doesn't need money, but he takes anyways. He's a rich guy, but he takes tzedakah. Min Damach, once he died, Badkin v'ashkachin d'hava mafug le'lechonin. No, he would give it out to, he wasn't taking the money for himself, he was giving it out. Right? What is the pshat in that story? If they, I mean, I understand the pshat well, in that story. Like what? Yeah, what I'm saying, what do you get? The guys get... I'm saying, yeah, there's no down the kaf schuz. There's no down the kaf schuz. Yeah, it's all of working. I mean, these were holy people we're talking about here. So Maybe all this kashash. by holy people? I don't know. I don't know. I would like to think... The Yetzirah is even, the, 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 the even stronger. Yeah, new shine. But I'm saying with us punks, like we learned in yesterday's Gemara, that we're nothing. We're not even Rapinchas Ben Yar's animal. Donkey, donkey, and yeah. right, we're not even his donkey. And we can, we can, we're still in his giving mustard to the people that are brought down in Yerushalmi. <laughs> I don't know. I, I find that hard maybe, to, to swallow. Maybe it's another touch for the for the Chazal. We say in Agad, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, maybe. It's hard to yeah, listen, you could also say that the base of Mikdash was destroyed for a reason, right? I mean, with all this chashad, can you, I mean, I don't want to say it. I'm not, Lula de Vistafina, I'm not I'm stopping the sentence right there, right? But you know what? Like the, like the Chavetz Chaim says, and if the base of Mikdash wasn't built in your times, that means you're the same, the same way, right? Okay, whatever it is. Now, Chinen of our Papa have a maflig mitzvah belelia. So, he would give out the tzedakah at night, right? So people wouldn't see. Chadzman pogabe rabbi in the ruchaya. So one time, the the rebbe of all the ruchas, the you know the shadim. I don't know if it means shadim or it means whatever. One of these these guys that flies around. Amrle loikein loikein alfen. So he didn't didn't you teach us loikein alfen rebbe? Didn't you teach us? Play sasik vorayacha. Don't step on anybody's toes. Right, so what are you doing roaming around at night? It says this is my jurisdiction over here. Amarle v'loy kain ksiv does it not right? Matan b'seisu yichve af that giving hidden sedaka will will turn over anger, right? So v'hu mistafi mine varak min kum min kum kum I think it's pronounced kum kumai, right? And he got he scared off the shade with that and uh, he ran away. The shade ran away. Fine. It doesn't say here that, that it's praised as the person who gives to the poor. It says praised as the person who thinks about the poor person. He thinks about 
how to do the mitzvah, not just Stam, you know, writes a check, right? He does it the way the way the uh, the Tiklin Chandan says. He says that you do it. It should be the least embarrassing for the person to get uh, the to get the tzedakah, right? Ketzad, what's the case? Rabbi Yoyna, again a gears issue. Rabbi Yoyna, so how did Rabbi Yoyna do this? Right? I mean, he himself said you got to think. So how did he do it? Because if he saw an ani that was from uh, uh, from a good family, she went down. He became poor. He would tell him, I heard that you're going to get Yerusha. Right? This is a real a genius way of doing things. He tells the guy, I heard that you're going to get Yerusha. Right? Tell, um, take, take money, and you'll pay me back in a, at a later time. Yeah? Um, then once the person took the money, it's a present for you. Right now, exactly how? I mean, did he lie straight out to him? No, he gave it to him for a present after. I know, but he lied to me. Tom, you're getting a Yerusha. Maybe he told him he was from Nigeria or Abyoina. You know, what? What does that do? The Nigerian guys will tell you what they have a million dollars coming. Just send them your social security. I mean, he said he may call the number. Well, you're right. you, wait a minute, are you allowed to lie if you're not, not going to embarrass the guy? Uh, from this Gemara, it's mashma, yeah, but there's lying and then there's lying. Well, what's the What did he tell him? He told him, you're getting a Yerusha. Take, take a cash advance against this Yerusha you're getting. Then the guy takes the money and says, oh, you're yeah, full of baloney. Well, but then he right. lied that he got a Yerusha? He's lying to the guy. He says, you know, I know that you're getting a Yerusha. So take some money now, and you'll pay it back when you get the Yerusha. He gives him the money. The guy takes it, and boom, he tells him that was that was uh, got you. You saying because it's painful to tell someone who's poor that he's getting Yerusha when he knows he's not? It's not painful. It's just uh, what? It's just a lie. Getting his hopes up. So what? He knows he's not. You know he's not. It's a nice way of doing it. Well, chances are he knows about his Yerushas more than I do. I don't know. I don't know. So the way the Tiklin Chadin says, he has a better way. I thought all the Yeshiva Shekops with all the, the all the shticks how to make money, right? Um, he says, he, oh, he Taki is getting Yerusha from the people that wanted to give him money for Tzedakah. Yeah, but that's not a Yerusha. And it's a Yerusha. It could be a Yerusha Bechai, the donor. Right? Whatever. You're saying you pull all these shticks that it's not lying. Whatever. Like, you know, people wanted to do with uh, Corona. They wanted to, you know, they had to sign that they're quarantining. Say, yeah, yeah, I'm quarantining for a minute. I never said I'm quarantining for two weeks. I didn't say you should do that. I just said this is what people were justifying. <laughs> this is the things that people were saying. Okay. But anyways. Um, fine. So then he says, so that's what he told him. So that was a, a way of trying to get him to do it, the, you know, to take money in a in a easy way, which again, at the end of the day, the guy was embarrassed, right? So what did he accomplish? At the end of the day, he's, he he was, he was embarrassed. He got he got hoodwinked, right? He wasn't embarrassed when he took the money. He wasn't, but then after that. Afterwards, is what I mean. I don't see. He was embarrassed. Doing. Where do you see he was embarrassed? No, but that's what he's trying to save. He's trying to save the busha. He wasn't embarrassed. The embarrassment is when you take the money. Now that okay, you that's that's the, what you have to say. Now that you're a mochzik on the money, then he's a mochzik on the money. You don't have to make back okay. Okay, so I, okay, listen, for the next Gemara, it's mashma like you're saying also, but it's interesting. Well, what's bothering with, with Tziyaki? Well, I'm saying that it's not, he's vital. If a guy comes over to him and says, here, take some tzedakah. I'm never taking tzedakah. So he says, okay, you got a Yerusha coming. Here's a cash advance. Then I say, okay, I'll take it. I take it. And then the guy says, hey, it's a present. Yeah, then you're a mochzik in the money. You don't feel so bad for Tziyaki. Um, okay, I don't know. To me, it sounds like 
Sounds like it's a problem. It's not as big, it's not as big of an embarrassment than, okay. here, than a guy saying, hey, here's a thousand, I'll take the money. I hear. I hear. I, mean, I hear. Okay, anyways, let's see if I... What are you saying that's not legit? It's, it's not, just not going to save him such such embarrassment. That's what I'm saying. But I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's go back. It's light. Right? He had. Um, he said, in our days, we had old people. They would, if you'd give them from Rosh Hashanah, from Rosh Hashanah, to the um, Yom Kippur, the Tzayim to the to the major fast, have a nispin. They would take the money. I mean, Basar came, but after that, they wouldn't take it. Amrin, because they would say, now this is also, this is a very yisaitistic way how to look at a Sarasi Mechuva. Amrin, they said, the Shasan Gabon, it's the well, meaning once you try to give them after Yom Kippur, they say, whatever, whatever we're supposed to have, we're supposed to have. Right? It's a, it's a fascinating thing. Basically, if you gave them to Daka between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, they took it. Why? Because the Gzar Din on how much parnasa you're making was Yom not Kippur. till after Yom Kippur. Meaning between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur was no man's land. So that's a time when they could take tzedakah. After Yom Kippur, let's say once Hashem decides that a guy's making $1,000 in a year. right? So they said, once it's Yom Kippur and Hashem decided I'm making $1,000, why should I take right? Why should I take money Hashem is going to get me my thousand dollars if you give it to me. If you don't give it to me as tzedakah, I'm going to earn it some other way, right? So they only took tzedakah between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, right? That's it. That means That's that Rosh Hashanah wasn't the gzardin. They're holding that there's no gzardin on Rosh Hashanah. They're going with the opinions that hold that the, the Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur is just no man's land, and it's like free money time. So then, yeah, you take tzedakah, because and all the during the tzedakah, year. After, money. The rest, after Yom Kippur, once, once let's say, Lamashal, Hashem decided you're going to make $1,000 that year. So you're going to make that $1,000 whether the guy gives you tzedakah or doesn't give you tzedakah. So why should he take tzedakah? No, I want to know that. That's like the guy with the, the guy with the flood and the helicopter and this, that. No, Hashem no, has no, his no, way no, of sending no, it to you. You're refusing it. Why? You're refusing. He's giving no, it to you this Hashem way. Hashem decides on Yom Kippur you're going to make 100 grand. Okay. You're going to make it by hook or by crook. That's not so a good then, muscle well, you can turn, then you can, then you can, then you can turn every option away? Well, maybe the, but maybe the way you're supposed to make it is by taking stucker. That's yeah. what Naftali is saying, right? That's what Naftali is saying. Maybe, 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 the, you're, maybe you're, by turning it down, right. you're saying, no, I don't want the money at $100,000. So the LMI... They, right. They, and LMI will they make they had, it, Hashem will make Hashem will make Hashem will make him. You get it a different way. LMI, they had enough to talk in that once. If the, maybe, he'll, if, maybe he'll say no to that also. No, doing? if it's a business the opportunity. you want to work for free. Can I add to their kasha? Yeah, yeah go ahead. The Mariam Menachis, I think, says the gimel is written with the left leg pointing up towards the dalit, and the dalit is written with the leg <laughs> pointing towards the gimel. Why? Because gimel is for gvir, dalit is for dal. And we're not sure which one's more important, the guy who's supporting the poor person or the poor person who's supporting the rich one in his mitzvahs. So right. not taking stock of that, that question. that gemara, I'm not answering. I'm making it. I'm asking. Yeah. Make it stronger, if anything. <laughs> According to that Gemara, all you're doing is taking away mitzvahs from someone. Okay. Ah, you uh, have you have a muna that the Eivishah Eivishah can give it from anywhere. But all you're doing, you literally, all you're doing is taking away a mitzvah from here. I, I I know from the books that you, the different Gedolim books that you told me to read uh, that, 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 that what you're saying is true. They they turned away uh, 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 certain things and said they're going to get it a different way. Right. But who you know, but regular people who we to say you know. I, I don't how know. You get it? So this, this, right, is, okay. this is what these people were saying. I imagine these guys were no slouches. Why couldn't okay. they take the money for Shabbos Yontif? Because that's not included in the Cheshmer. Oh, oh, very good. I like that Kasha. Oh. Right. Why that's not included in the Cheshmer. Uh, right. They what? Or why did they take for Shabbos and Yontif? Right, or mm -hmm. you could say the other way around. Don't give me for Shabbos. The other going to pay me back anyways. Right? I don't know. Uh, okay, whatever. Okay. 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 Now the Gemara right. says Levu Alai. I hear. I okay, listen. We got to go back. We got to go back already. It's too late. Halavai. I mean, we could spend long times on these Gemaras. Okay, fine. Nechemya Ish. 
Nechem, yeah, you see it. Nechem ye ish, ish sheikh in Pogba by Yerushalmi echad. So Nechem ye the he was digging the 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 holes, right? Amrale, and he met a Yerushalmi. Amrale zochi michad tanagol. This 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 next gemara is a pretty scary when it comes to giving tzedakah. If anybody's involved in tzedakah, he says, "Give me, give me a tanagolta, give me a hen, give me a hen for I need a hen." He was a poor person. He said, "I need it." Amrale, helicha to misid the kaifed. Take, take here's money to buy meat because meat back then was cheaper than chicken. Meaning, what does the poor person need to have chicken for? It's expensive. Give him meat. Right, and Kupar Vaachil, and so the poor person went. Kupar, I'm sorry, he went and Vaachil, and he ate it. Who missed and he died. Vayitzavach Vaamar, and Nechemia got up and cried. He says, "Boy, we siftu lahargash on Nechemia. Let's go cry over the person who Nechemia killed, because he didn't give him. He didn't give the ani the way the ani needed. He tried to cut corners. The ani asked for a hen, and he said, i 'I'm not giving you a hen. I'm giving you meat, or go get meat.'" That obviously wasn't good for him, and Mamela he died, right? So that was a very bad thing. Well, Nochum Ishka. You can't say. What do you need to? What do you need to feed them this? You need to give them that. Right. No, but it's a big zach. You know, what I'm saying somebody's coming to make a chas, and it's coming it's collecting to make a chas, and people tell him, you know, don't do it on this standard, do it on that standard. You could stare the whole. You might. You're right. You can mama stare the whole thing. Right. On the other hand, so a guy says, "I want to make a chasana, but I'm making it in Chveis uh, Terrace on the Park." So you tell him make a tasty, but but you don't know. It's it's a very fine line. It's a very fine line. Fine. Nachum ish gamzu hayem ayluch durin the base chamav. So Nachum ish gamzu would bring a, a present to his. He was bringing a present to his father-in-law. It's interesting because this is a Gemara in uh, what do you call? What was that? in again? Tainus. And the Tikkun Chadim says that our Gemara here is more accurate than the, the Gemara's version of this in, in Tainus. So Pogavoy Mukashkin. So on his way, he met somebody who had a Mukashkin uh, Echad. It was a person who had uh, skin skin diseases. Amrale, Zachimi, Mimata, the Iskavoch. Give me a little bit that you have there. Meaning he's going to bring a present to his father in law. And this poor guy who needs help said, Give me some of your stuff. I'm going to give you on my way home, right? The guy, he says, I'll give you tzedakah later. And he came back and he found that he was dead. And he said to the person, The eyes that saw you and didn't answer you, they should become blind. The hands that didn't stick it out to give you anything, yiskatun should get cut off. Raglaya the lay rotan the mitanloch yisbarun. The feet that didn't run to give you to give you also tzedaka should be um, should be broken. Umatze kain, and then that's exactly what happened. So Salak lagavei Rabbi Kiva. Rabbi Kiva went up to visit him. Amrle Eli shani roya sabuchach. I'm say Eli means woe unto me. I probably would say Eli shani roya I sabuchach. It's sad that I have to see you like this. So Nachum Ishgamzu told him, It was to me if I don't see you like this. Right? This is a pretty rough comeback to Rabbi Kiva. Right? So Amr Alei, Rabbi Kiva said, Why are you cursing me? Why are you kicking, kicking away my Yisurin? Yisurin are a good thing. I deserve punishment, he's saying. And and this is my punishment for what I did, right? So why are you belittling it? Fine. Rav Hoshi or Rabbi have a Rabbi the Brei Chad Sagi Nora. So Rav Hoshi or Rabbi, he was his his the, his son's teacher was somebody who was Sagi Nora. He was blind. Rav Yolif, I call Ime B'Chol Yom, and he would eat with him every day. Chadzman, I, I don't really understand this this story here, but Chadzman Havale Orchin. One time he had guests. He wasn't able to eat with the blind Rebbe to keep him company. So that night, Salak Lagabe, Rabbi went up to, to talk to, to the blind teacher. Don't be angry, Rebbe. Begin the Havali Archin Yaimadain because I had guests today, right? Who didn't know, you know, who didn't know. That they shouldn't be. 
I didn't want to embarrass my guests by not eating with them. I think that's what he means, right? So begin that's why I didn't eat with you. So they said, You've appeased me to the person who is seen but can't see. Right? Right? So if you're the one that, that would made me happy, made up, I can be seen, but I'm not allowed to see. So the same thing should be um, the person who sees but can't be seen, who is Hashem. Right, should be makabel your your peers, your uh, your uh, trying to make him come. So Amale Hadami Nalach, where'd you where'd you get such a line from? Amale mi Rebbe Lazman Yaakov, the Rebbe Lazman Yaakov all had the sagi nura lekarte. A man, a blind person, once went up to his city. Yosef le Rebbe Lazman Yaakov le Ramine, and he put him, he put him, he sat under the blind person. The Yamrun, so people should say the Lule to have a barna shara. She wants to sleep. Right? The Lule to have a barna shara. That if it wouldn't be that this person would be such a, per, a great person, the Yasub Lebr Lazman Yaakov, the Ramine, Rabbi Lazman Yaakov wouldn't put him, put him um, under him. So Avnale Parnasa de Eker, and then they gave him a good Parnasa because they said he's a Hush of a person. Amr Alon, he said to them, Mao, hey, what's, what, what's going on over here? Amrun lay Rebbe Lozav ben Yaakov, Yosav the Raminoch, Rebbe Lozav ben Yaakov is sitting under you, but Tzali Love, right? Um, had a tzlusa. Um, so then I'm sorry, Rebbe Lozav ben Yaakov is sitting under you, but but Tzali Love had the tzlusa. So then what he did, he put in a tefila, right? Ata gemalta chesed lemande mischami v'loichami. You did chesed for a person who can be seen but he can't see. So then the chami v'loy mischami yigmalitoch yas yasoch chesed. So the person who who sees but can't be seen, which is Hashem, should do chesed for you too. Fine. Reb Chama bar Chanina Rabbi Hashem ha'yimatayin be'ilan kinishta deloy. They were they were uh, walking in the in the shul and lud. Amar Reb Chama bar Chanina the Rabbi Hashem kama mam and shako avay How much money? Zeb Bol, this is for you. This Gemara, right? How much money did they did our forefathers spend on building these beautiful buildings? Right? Thanks. I'm sure you I'm, I'm sure you hear this one a lot. Yes, Omarle. Common of Fosha Shoko by Sakan. So it's how many how many people were were buried over here? Right? Meaning, meaning that too much money was spent on the buildings and not enough money to support the poor people. Right, loy have is b'nei nash dilun do eraisa. Right, there were not enough people that were learning that you could have given them money instead you put into buildings. Yeah, that was uh, so that was that time. Rabbi Avon, over Eiling Tarya, right? So he gave money to make uh, nice nice gates for the shul. At the Adam base, um, yeah, the Sidra, the Sidra Rabbah for the for the Seder of the, the great the great Yeshiva. Yeah, so also Ramana Lagabe, Ramana came to him. Amrale, Chami, right? Chami my Chami my Avadis. What are you doing? Do you see what 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 are, you see what's going on here? Amrale, Vishka Kisala Saseva, even hey Khalas. And he said they the, the people forgot about Hashem and they built up these big Hechals. Right? Are there no people here, Dilun Bidaraisa, that are learning that you have to go spend money on making fancy gates for the base for the base of Knesset? Fine. So that you see that uh, you're not supposed to for, according to this Gemara, at least, you're not supposed to be sinking lots of money into uh, into into buildings. It's ra- rather give it to uh, rather give it to, to B'nai Torah. I once saw the Chavetz Chaim writes is about all these. Sifri Torah that people donate. He says, "Why are you giving money to the Sefer Torah? Sefer Torah not learning. Give it to rather give it to people that are sitting and learning." Okay, whatever. I think that's what I haven't seen in years, but that's that's what I from what I remember. Okay, Tana, we learned. Yeah. So now we're talking. Now we're going back to the Kalim, to the room that they put the utensils in. If they needed money 
extra money for the base of Mikdash, I don't know if this answers your kasha from before, what they do with extra money. They need extra money, so they would take it from the Bedek of Ayas. But you're not allowed to take money from the Mizbeach money and use it for the Bedek Abayas money. So we learned that a Mishnah Klishim was about Sarech the Bedek Abayas money. If they would, Kalim that they took from this room that were, they would use for the upkeep, that they would leave Asharnim Karnim with the main knife from the Bedek Abayas. And the rest would go for Bedek Abayas. It didn't say that you can use that money to go towards the Mizbeach. So Rabbi Chizka, Kani, it's true, right? The Kani must the, the true way of doing this mission is Lishka's Bedek Abayas. What it means is to, for the Lishka of the Bedek Abayas, right? Mm-hmm. So it's not mm-hmm. talking about other things. It's not talking about other, other Karbanas. When it says it's using the money, you're using it for the Lishka of uh, of the Bede Kabais. What does that mean? Right? That answer? Meaning only, meaning Karbanas, that from the Tzibur, right, that was necessary to take money from the Tzibur, that you would be allowed to do, right? Why would you think not? What? Why would you think not? No, because we were thinking that you could, you got to keep Bede Kabais money separate. So saying not. Why not? What? Why not? No, I'm saying no. The Mishnah is only talking about. But right? the Mishnah's mashmi can only use better kabbais for better kabbais. Oh, we said that you can use better. The Gemara now here says we use better kabbais for mizbeach. So we're saying when the Mishnah says better kabbais is better kabbais, that's not getting involved. It's it's just sticking to to those to to money that's meant to taka fix the better kabbais, right? That's when they needed it. They needed they needed the money for the better kabais, but it doesn't mean that they would that's also for you to use better kabais money for the for the mizbeach. All right, yeah, okay, that's uh, okay, it's pretty late. Let, let's let's uh, a little further, uh, yeah, yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go further. It's okay, this is not this is not hard. The next, uh, yeah, some famous stories that come out of this next mission. Fine, Shlesha is the shifres, there were 13 shifres, which we said many times already that 13 uh, tzedakah boxes. Shalash Shaster Shulchanis, there were 13 tables, right? That we're going to see later on what they were. And Shalash Shaster Shachavis, I make this, there were 13 times, 13 places where they bowed down in the base of Mikdash, Shabbos Rim of Lil, Shabbos Rabbi Hadin Skanakayim, Hanan Nisanagayim, Hayim Mishtachim, and Ba'arba Esrei. They would bow in the 14th place. Vehechan, Haisa Yisair, and where was the extra one? Keneged. Dira ate him. The 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 room that had the wood in it. Shekain besaris beyadim. I was saying sheshama aron nignas. They had a masayra that right there the aron was was hidden by the room where they keep the wood. Maisa bekayin echad shayim esasik. There was a story with a with a kayin. What, that was what does that mean? The, the, I'm sorry that the, the aron was hidden there. The aron was in the kaidik jashim. No, but oh, after, hidden, after, hidden, after, after, after the korban, after the, the end of, end of, at the end of the first base of Mikdash, they lost the Aaron, right. and the second base of Mikdash didn't have an Aaron. Ah, uh-huh, so it was hidden in the base of Mikdash. Yeah, that's, that's what their Messiah was. That's uh-huh. what their Messiah Yeah. Just like you go to Maris HaMachpel, and different people have different Messiahs, where Abram and where they're buried, and they dive, and each one got their own knech. So it sounds like this this same same type of thing. So there was a story with a coin who was busy. And he saw that the floor, right, looked a little bit different than uh, than the other floor. And he came and told his friend, he said, "Hey, you know, look at that. Look at the floor there. It's a little different." He wasn't even able to say to 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 repeat or to say over what he was seeing. Everybody knew. You know, still I hate. Everybody knew that the base, that's where the Aaron was. And it's meant to be, it's meant to not be known. Fine. Tony, Yet they held that there was one of these spots that you were supposed to do, that you were supposed to bow. Correct. But they didn't know exactly where it was. They had a Messiah that somewhere under there was, was, uh, was they didn't have an, anything specific. They didn't want anybody title, finding based, it. Based on the story, how do you say that the Arn was in Bavro. What do you mean? The Gemara says... The- that's going to be there. So we have to see the Gemara later, exactly. But that's that's going to be tomorrow's stuff for the most part. Well, the bottom of this stuff of... Um, of 
Yeah. So Tani and Shefaris Alala Akuma, so they were rounded. Taurus Milamalan, and they were thin on the top, or Rukhavas Milamatan and wide on the bottom. Again, why? Because of the scammers, so that they wouldn't be able to stick their uh their people would look like they were putting money in there, and then they would take them out. Right? Meaning you'd put it in if you didn't have it bent and you didn't have it wide or thin on the top, wide on the bottom. So you would uh you would think that you could put put it in and then keep your hand and, and take it back out. Right, but because once you did that, then there was no way to. There was the no way to. It says you have to turn it around. Yeah. The top, so you hear a coin going down. Okay, and right. So, but the same. But again, which is another chashash for people yeah. scamming. And yeah. what is the big deal if somebody scams? It's not. He's not stealing. That doesn't seem to be the, the case. It's just like he looks like he's giving tzedaka, but it's not. I don't know. Tani b'shem Rav Lazar, Aaron. Um, Gala Iman, the, the Aaron went into Golos to Babel. My time, how do you know? Nothing's going to be left over there. Only things which the Dibris, right, was was with the Saicha was with him. The Aimer, the Chuvas Hashana, Shola Hamelach, and Ruchanetza, we were Babel in Klichemdas Beis Hashem. So it sees clearly that the, the, the Kalim went out the bubble. Ezi Klei Chem the Space Hashem, Ze Aaron, that is the Aaron. So from there you see that the Aaron did go out to Bavel. Rab Shimon ben Lakashim, Rab Makaima Hayaha Aaron Dignas, it was hidden in that place. Hadoodh Siva, Yerichu Habadam, Yeru Rashi Abadam, and the Kaidish El Pnei Advir, below Yaro Chutzam. So Ksiva Yeru. It says they were seen, but Amrit Veloyiru, and you're saying Veloyiru, and that they weren't seen. Ella Niran Veloyiru, they're seen and they're not seen. Bolton Veyatsin Kishne Dade Aisha. What it is is that the, the sticks, the poles, stuck out like the like the chest, like the breast of a, a woman that sticks out from her clothing. Rabbanan Amri, right? And the Rabbanan say, there's Belishka's dear ha eightsim ha It was hidden in the, the, the room with the wood. My, which is like our Mishnah. My, there was a story with a Kayan who was a Balmum. He was sitting and he was taking out the worms with the wood because you know that have wormy wood on the on the Mizbech. And he saw that the floor looked different. He came and said to him, Come look at this this uh, Floor, she mishtana mechavah said it's different from from the rest of the floorboards. I guess it wasn't boards, but stone. And they knew b'yichud that that's where the aron was hidden. So we have a machlaikus exactly with the aron stayed in the base of mikdash, just hidden, or it went out to bavel. Based on these stories, based on these stories, what? Why would we think it's a bavel? That's well, there's two different because the psukim are mashma that it was in bavel. Okay, we're going to stop here. But the, the, the psukim was mash, the psukim is mashma and the wukhanetza had it out in bavel, right? So it's, it's, yeah, I don't know. I mean, pre- presumably, just to answer Zeb's kasha, the best way to hide something is to make everyone think it's somewhere else. So if it's supposed to be hidden, make everyone think it's in Lishka Right Um, yeah, okay, that, I hear that. Um, and probably vice versa is true too. The, the, the Rabbana told everyone it went to Bava. The Psukhi said it went to Bava. Maybe it was in Lush Right. right. Okay, but it's again, again, it's an interesting thing with something so basic. Something so basic. That we don't know was the Aaron did it go out? Did it not go out? Right? He said, did a good job of hiding it. Who hid it though? The Amish did himself hit it or 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 people hit it. I have no idea. Take who <laughs> no, one person hit it, and when he was telling somebody where it is, he died. Yeah, but that, that story we don't have. All right, Sviaco, got a question for you. Go ahead. <clears throat> take aside, take aside the uh, the problems of 
planting and starting seeds on over over Cholamoid. I didn't think about it. It was a, it was a Cholamoid uh, project to keep my kids busy, so I didn't even think about it. But some of my seeds were kidneys, and by some of them, I would say three quarters of them were peas and uh, peas and um, and beans. What's the problem? You didn't eat them. You can have enough kidneys. Yeah, um, that's what, that was my question. I don't know enough about kidneys. I don't. I just don't do it. So what is it? what's it? Is it, is there an answer on owning it over over Yantif or no answer at all? You could even use it. You just can't eat it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you did fine. I mean, the question is, should you handle it? Maybe the kids will put it into their mouth, or whatever. No, yeah. no, they didn't, they wouldn't do that. They know better than to mess with my. I was gonna tell him that his punishment is he has to eat his beans now. <laughs> well, you should be so lucky to eat the beans that I plant. Only the finest chicken manure has been used. <laughs> um, is it is it an issue if like you get the kids to do it over over cholamoid? Well, that's a different issue. Planting on cholamoid is already not simple at all. Yeah, it, I didn't even think about it. Uh, Tiago, if kids are planting, you can assume it's just for fun. They're not growing anything. Um, well, it depends if Simon is doing it serious. No, we're doing it serious. Like we put him in in um, in the seed starting trays, like 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 professionals do, just on a low grade. And I, whatever, they were sick and they had something. That, you know, I didn't want them watch my computer all day. Got to put them to work. You got to teach them how to how to make a living, support themselves. Actually, Ritsiakov, I wanted to ask you go for that, that question. Are you allowed to do these malachas? Planting, for example, that's a good one. With the kids, if it's if, if you're doing it to show the kids the maraba masecho hashem, it's not stam, not stam to plant to get food out of it. Is that considered like a simchas yamtif kind of thing? Well, even if you were planting to get to, to get food out of them, you're not getting you're not getting food out of them anytime soon. But first, B, um, uh, what do you call it? Now, this is similar to what I was timing about the drums. What drums? What are you talking about? Shalom making the drums. Yeah, for him it was the simplest yom. I know, but who says you can do? Who says it just because you want to do all that? That's a friend of mine asked Shiloh about drums. I think he said he asked of David Cohen, or he, I don't remember who he asked, but he told him that drums weren't considered an instrument for when it comes to Svira. No, it wasn't about Svira. Someone Cholamite. He wanted to take apart his drum set and clean it. I didn't hear that part. No, I wanted to do his maintenance on it. Yeah, I was timing that if he was a professional drummer and then, you know, it went to support his profession so that it's avoided. But here he's not making money off it. It's true, but the bottom line is if it's malacha of an umma to take a part of drums and put it back. Yeah, but you're allowed. You're allowed to. Uh, you're allowed to work over cholamoid. It's not preferable, but you're allowed to work over cholamoid. So, I still think Tiago, my favorite cholamoid shadow that you told us was last year with the kid mowing the lawn. That what? You said a guy called you and said that his kid had ADD and he wanted to mow the lawn. Yeah. You don't remember this one? How have I, I should have said Oh, that. yeah, 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 yeah. Now you remind me. <laughs> That's a Gishmak Yashayla. What did he say? I don't remember. What did I say? Said he has to use his scissors. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think the rabbis didn't go for it. Yeah, I think so. I, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't remember, but I, I don't think you let him. I remember that someone, I don't remember who, but someone on the dock, when you told the child, said, you should have told it, which I thought was a brilliant answer, you should have told the guy to take the blade out. Oh, I've this parak on Pesach. Nice. <laughs> so then, you know, the kid finds out that you did that to him, and he will just... 
<laughs> it'll keep him busy for longer. But I, but I don't understand if you know it's if it, if it's a project for the kids. Okay, you're gonna have to do it anyway. You, you have to do the dishes sometimes, and if you you have to do it on pay on on over Yantif, right? Over Cholmoid, or you know the the a baby a baby messes himself, and you ha- you can't let you know poopy clothes uh, sit, so you have to wash them over Cholmoid. So what would be the problem here? What would be the problem if, if you know you get the kids you know the kids to do something because they're because it keeps them busy or keeps them, yeah you have to be able to do it like like I was already planning on doing it this week anyway happened to be all my kids got stomach bugs and they were all miserable sitting at home and whatever let them put the seeds I already I already did the 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 containers that it's going to go in anyway they just put, pop the seeds in what's the difference. Well, one's the Torah Chamoyed, one's not. Parents, are we still recording? <laughs> yeah. I, I forgot. I wanted to tell you a story. So I went out.